Okay, so the, the invitation here is to rest naturally as you are. Just rest as you are. Remain open as you are. You don't need to do any, anything else. If you tried up until now to change the set of your thoughts, emotions, sensations, and experiences to feel better or to get rid of your emotions and negative thoughts or whatever, or maybe get rid of the positive thoughts, I don't know. <laughs> Try for today to let everything be as it is, without doing anything, without trying to reject what comes up, <coughs> not trying to avoid, not trying to replace it with a better one, a better thought, a better emotion, and uh, not to indulge it either. So not go into all the stories, why it happens to you, why do you feel tired, why do you feel nervous, why do you feel worried. Let it be as it is, rest naturally for a short moment. You see, it's, it's short, it's easy, it's simple, but it's profound. So you test it for today. You take a short moment of relaxing body and mind. Just right now, relaxing body and mind completely without doing anything and let all data be as it is let them flow on by and also recognize the power of open intelligence your own open intelligence our own open intelligence the power of your mind to let data be as it is and that that's actually the balanced view because we are not bound to any extremes extreme of positive and extreme of negative. We have a balanced view. The view is balanced. Yeah, it's a balanced view, but we have to test it. You have to test it in your own experience to see what is that balanced view that you're talking about. So we take a short moment and relaxing completely. It sounds like, okay, everything is the same. <laughs> it's not something new for me, maybe you would say, oh, Maybe you cannot relate to that, but you know what? Just try it and see whether it's profound or not. In, in our experience, in my experience, in the experience of many of people you meet here in Balanced View and all over the world, people are um, living a lifestyle that is of benefit to all by relying on the simple practice and using the empowerment network of uh, the four mainstays that I will share more about it. And Anya shared before the introduction to open intelligence and the invitation just for the first meeting. If you're here for the first time, you introduce yourself to open intelligence by stopping thinking for a moment. It's not so stopping moving. It's not so stopping breathing. It's stop thinking for a moment. Yeah. Stop thinking for a moment as naturally as you are. The next thought that will come that's open intelligence too. But when you stop thinking for that moment, what remains? Ask yourself, what remains when I'm stopped thinking? Okay, there is openness, there is alertness, there is the power to know, right? The power to know it didn't go anywhere. The power to know the next thought that will come. Oh, I'm thinking now. Who is having that thought? Oh, I'm, I'm actually thinking a lot. Oh. I can't stop thinking. This thought comes from open intelligence. So open intelligence, it's what at the basis of all your perceptions, all the experience, all the experiences, all the feelings, what is feeling, what is sensing, what is looking for your eyes. That's open intelligence. That's the nature of our mind. The nature of our mind is always balanced. It is always open, always clear, like a cloudless sky. Yeah, and then even if there are clouds, the sky remains as they are. That's the power of open intelligence. So for short moments, the practice is short moments of open intelligence, repeated many times until it becomes continuous. So when you take a short moment, whenever you remember to do so, you might feel just slightly more relaxed, more balanced, more stable. You say, okay, I can let that anger be as it is, just for a moment. And then again, all the stories comes again. I'm feeling tired and it's because yesterday I didn't sleep a lot and I don't know what kind of stories you have. And then maybe you think about your family and 
you feel worried for them and all the caring and feeling responsible. And then you can rest naturally for a short moment, relaxing body and mind, and again. And you repeat that, okay, without knowing where will it go, what will happen at the end. But in that moment of relaxation, in that moment of short moment, there is an immediate benefit to you and to everyone around you. And it's, uh, it's powerful for me, for example, with my own family. You know, I was always like, feeling so responsible for them. We have a, we, I have a big family <coughs> from Israel. I have a big family and we have five in our family. And, you know, I was always so much wanting them to feel okay. I mean, any, everyone wants that. Right? No one wants the, your family to feel not okay, but I really felt responsible for their thoughts and emotions where they felt depressed or they had negative thoughts or experiences. I immediately tried to change that. I just didn't feel comfortable with them having that feelings and emotions. And um, my conversations with them were always about that, like how to change your thoughts and emotions so you will not feel that way. So I always said, oh, it will, be, it will be okay, it will be better, and don't worry, and trying my best. But when I met the training, it empowered me to let my data, to let my thoughts and feelings be as they are, without trying to change any of it, without trying to change myself. And with that empowerment, I felt more at ease while facing the circumstances with my family. And that allowed me to have a balanced view, <laughs> a balanced view of what will be of most benefit, how to support them in a way that will really be of benefit for them and for me, without going into the extremes of, oh my God, they're so negative, I have to change it. Letting it be as it is for a short moment allowed me to tap into skillful means of my own intelligence, like we all have the intelligence of the universe, you can say, but it's a very natural intelligence, the intelligence that knows what to do and how to act in every moment that will be of most benefit. Uh, so now I'm not anymore trying to change the, the data, the points of view of my family anymore. And because I don't see myself as a victim of my own data, so I don't see them as victims of their data. But it doesn't mean I'm just sitting there and looking at them <laughs> and not doing anything to support them because their open intelligence. Again, there is a, um, an immediate benefit, practical ways of how to be of benefit. And you know, if it's just like making dinner for them or just sitting and listening and just sharing my experience with them and you know, each one is, you, you're all unique and special as you are. And you bring out your gifts and talents. Well, before, for example, for me, it was just saying all my thoughts and emotions and, you know, blaming and gossiping and really just not feeling comfortable trying to get rid of it or just collapsing in my own data stream. So now there is openness, openness to let my family be as they are, and letting not only my family, but everyone. First of all, myself, my own data, things I'm facing in my life. If it's anger, <laughs> if it's, um, um, <clears throat> you could say, jealousy, or you could say fear, loneliness. It's something to open up to, where before I really tried not to be lonely or not to be afraid. The power of open intelligence gives that ability to be with all situations, all circumstances, and in a powerful way, in a way that will benefit you and others. So short moments, again and again, and the four mainstays are, like I said, the practice of short moments, the training, the media, online. You have plenty, <coughs> lots of talks on the websites for free for you to listen. You can go to the information area and uh, we all will help you to just have it with you. And also books to download or purchase the download for free on the website. And so that's the second mainstay. And listening to talks, you know, you should try it because it's, um, 
it's really amazing. It speaks not about other people. <laughs> it speaks about your own experience that you can relate to. Like you can relate now where people are asking questions and then you hear response and something just touches somewhere. You don't know what is it. That's the instinctive recognition. So it evokes that instinctive recognition of the obviousness of open intelligence in your own experience and to see that it's your own experience too. So listening to talks and then the third main stage is the training. And like Anya shared, we have today the next step, what you can do <coughs> is um, trying a training and the training we share a text of Candice and it's a profound text. When you read the words in the text, it's, uh, it's really amazing because it, um, it allows the recognition to come about. And you have uh, a very specific instructions and guidance of how to rest naturally your mind and body for short moments. And you can hear shells and really just open to something within you that was always there, really. It's so natural. <clears throat> and then we have the trainers, and trainers is just like, um, okay, today it's here, and me and Anya, and then we have lots of trainers coming to the meetings and asking questions. We share our experience with you. So we really just, um, uh, people just like you, where we took the commitment to really rely on the four mainstays, rely on open intelligence, and share practical examples of our own life. And the last is the community, which is everyone. And if you just have time today, just be here <laughs> and get to know people here. And uh, everyone is um, really amazing in the example of um, complete stability and ease and um, a clarifying energy, <laughs> I would say.